Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Wednesday, August the 3rd. These are the charts of the day. Very strong day on Wall Street. A lot of stocks in, uh, that we have to talk about tonight. Many of our swings are running. Uh, it's good to be a tech trader. Uh, ALDX, as you can see from the May lows when it was trading in the 235 range, is now nearly tripled at near six. And this current wedge that just broke out yesterday looks like it wants to extend, targeting six and three quarters maybe as high as eight going forward. I don't know, stock that I used to love and is now looks like it's back into buy territory. Probably put a swing on it, I like the way it looks. Multiple waves down, declining top sign broken, lateral price resistance and base taken out, and now a beautiful coil. Today, it popped to 18 or 5%, but it looks like it's about to explode out of here into that mid 50s range, currently 44. Carvana, now six days in a row up, and the stock is coming off and breaking out of a base with, with the moving average having turned around and the lateral price resistance taken out and now looks like a test of the May Valley back high at 46 is in the offing. That's your target. DVD uh, exploded in the last couple of days coming out. If you can see first breaking through the moving averages, consolidating in a coil and then popping dramatically in the last two sessions and taking it from about the $3 range up to four, almost five, 498 high today. My target, six. DraftKings put a swing on it today. I like the way this base breakout coil formed, and then the moving average has crossed over right there. Stock just went vertical and now been up six days in a row. Current target is 17 and three quarters, and then I'd be looking for a run to 21 and a half, 22. EBH, Evelyn Health, broke out of a multi, multi-month, almost year-long coil coming through a double top with a spike up. Now it did back off after getting up all the way up to 39.20, finishing 36, but it was still up a couple of percent. Now, sometimes I'll break out and retest, particularly off the top of the channel. Let's see if it backs and fills here. And if it does, I would look for more upside in the mid forties. Ford Motor Company, since we put a swing on it, it's gone nothing but pretty, basically vertical. If you take a look at the way it pulled back and tested to 1246 just a week ago, today high, 16.15, so we're looking at a nice percentage move for a low price stock and with a target of 17 and 18 and a half going forward. GBT exploded, went vertical from 33 to 45.75, finished near the highs, telling me that this, and that's a breakout by the way, this tells me there's more to go. I would look now for a run into the low 50s potentially. Herbalife breaking out of a base, exploding for 344, 14%. Vine picked up but it's that resistance. If it gets through here, I would look for a move that takes it potentially into the low 30s. IMVZ, it looks so good today, I put a swing on it. It closed at 541, up 68 cents to 14%. The volume was 7.8 million, and it's the highest close on it since January. I'd be projecting and looking for a move to the next level that comes in around $8. KSPN with a wild day today, traded 59 million shares, never traded anywhere near that. It's whole trading life. You can see that after a long declining falling wedge, after the post explosive move back in early July, the stock has resurrected its run, come out of its falling wedge and popped dramatically today. 245 to 730 and finished 557 up three points. 115% huge day for that one. Your target, if it gets to today's high, would be a three test of 10 or better. KYMR, I think it was upgraded by Goldman today and the stock popped 472 or 21%. Line was a million one, the best we've had in about six weeks coming out of a, a coil consolidation post crossover moving averages. So to me, it looks like now your next target is 34. LABU, we've been touting for weeks. I love the way it's acted of late, particularly today when it popped out of the coil. Jumped from 790 to 970, finished 928 of almost a point or about 12%. But that to me is a clean breakout. I'm looking for a breakout across 1020. Then your target is 12, 14, and 17. Mara with the bit with Bitcoin rallying, Mara is two. It's wedging here carefully. Look, you see the declining top sign and lateral price resistance right up here. Watching the next day or two, if this thing can get out of a 14, um, 20, it could be $18 stock pretty quickly. MCRB in the biotech sector broke its base today, 
popped 390 to 504 and finished 460 up a half a buck. 12% gain. Looks like it may have turned the corner. But there's your declining top sign. If we get to that level, I would look for a run next target, takes and three quarters. NTLA popped out of its little wedgie today. Created 3.7 million shares on a pop of almost seven points or 11 percent. That's a breakout. You can see where it backed off of. That's the um, resistance from the March eyes. Your next target, 100, 102. Neuro popped dramatically, uh, 342 to 473, but finished back at 391. It was up about 9%. I still like the look of it, and my target is now six. OMER swing trade, broke out of a coil, popped, pulled back, retested, held that level, and then today spiked up um, from 477 to 550, finish 549, a penny off the high. Looking like this is definitely going to follow through. I got a target of seven, seven and a quarter next. Perion, um, we put a swing on it um, a couple weeks ago. It, it's now popped dramatically today on earnings report, up 247. That's a 12.7% gain. Buying was a million two. Looks like we're headed to 24 and 26 and change. PSTK. Another strong move and breakout today exploded from 271 to 553, doubled, and backed off to 372, still up 129 to 53%, and a mere 62 million shares today. You may get a follow through or a retest of the level up there, five. Rhythm, a swing, really doing well. Another 293 or 21% more today, and now it's more than triple since we gave it to you. One of our better swings of the year. The breakout occurred here when it went to five, currently 17. Today's gain of 293 um, gets it up near secondary resistance with the following target of 24. Seed looking great. And the highest close on seed, I mean the highest close since way back. Each of these spikes closed way off that level. So I'd have to say the highest close is last August. So it's a 52 week closing high anyway. And if we can punch it through here, I wouldn't be shocked to see 13 and 14 three quarters next. Beyond that, that stock might be an $18 stock at some point. Shopify coming out of the base, it appears, popped $4 or 10%. Mine was a hefty 38 point some odd million, and it looks like it's going to break out and run to the next target here, 50. SoFi had a really good day, spiked out of the base, ran from 671 to 842, finished at 810 up 169, 26% gain. Next target, 10. And Tupperware, which had a really big spike, 660 to 1188, pulled back to 953, it was still up to 33 or 32%, as volume spiked to 13 and a half million shares. I'm now looking for a test of the gap in the prior lows. Your target's 13. And UPST, another good day today, popping near resistance, coming through the decline top line. Next target, probably about 35. Winnebago popping and running in a rising channel. Lateral price resistance near here was taken out today. And it looks to me like a stock that might be headed to first 65.6 and then 70. Also in the biotech sector, XBI along with LABU popped out of its coil. And you can see it might run here. We're looking for a retest first of the recent highs at 86 and a half. And then you look in the low 90s. And finally, Yell, that's the big. Trucker, yellow freight, came out of a declining channel a week ago and pulled back and flagged, but today went ballistic on, I believe, earnings report. 436 to 764, backed off a point to 653, but finished up nearly $2, 43%. As volume picked up, looks like to me this is a definitive clean breakout, and I'd be looking for a stock around $9 over the next few weeks. And that's it, an extensive look at some of the hot stocks at thetechtrader.com. Good night, everybody.